The State Department of Health tossed in the red dye to map out where it would go for a very important reason. Ian Jeffords is the general manager of Penn Cove Shellfish, located a couple miles away. Well, for us, it's business as usual. Um, th this is part of a, a study to validate, you know, the efficacy of the of the new treatment plant they put in there in Oak Harbor. Penn Cove shellfish harvests mussels, clams, and oysters in the waters near Coopville and has been operating since 1975. The dye shows the water's movement from the Oak Harbor Clean Water Facility to see if there could be an environmental impact. Much of shellfish, um, particularly oysters, are sold, you know, live in the shell. And so you, you need to know that the water that's coming from is, is clean and, and healthy and um, th there aren't going to be any issues from harvesting shellfish from those waters. The dye is non-toxic, not harmful to people, pets, or the environment, and may be visible in and around Oak Harbor for the next day or so. The state says there's no estimate for the study's results, but they may continue evaluating the area through Wednesday. We all have to be able to sleep at night, and we know the water quality is good. You know, we eat product out of this bay every day, so. Um, this is just one more way to validate, uh, you know, the, the water quality that we operate in. On Whidbey Island, Brady Wakayama, King 5 News.